Hello, welcome to High Ground Gaming. This is Eric, my co-host Mr. Brody, with two actual additional co-hosts. Per addition of Purple Monkey, there's uh, Blue Penguin there. There's Mr. That's Mr. Brody's newest. Uh, Mr. Brody's been training up Blue Penguin to uh, to be another co-host there, in case he cannot make it. So he'll be in the co-host seat there with him. Anyway, uh, this is game two of the doubleheader from September 2nd from the 1978 Los Angeles Dodgers against the New York Mets. It'll be Nino Espinosa on the hill for the New York Mets. One of my favorite uh, characters for the New York Mets. Uh, in very interesting name. <laughs> and uh, Bob Welch, um, who passed away in 2014, way too early. Um, I think I believe it was a heart attack I think he had. Um, so Bob Welch. I remember him on the Oakland uh, Oakland Athletic Championship teams, but he was also on the uh, Los Angeles Dodgers, which he, which he came up with in the late mid to late seventies. So anyway, uh, so the Dodgers will try to go to three and zero in September. Right now, they have ninety one wins, um, so we're starting off September in a great way. Um, so without further ado, let's get to game two of the doubleheader from September second. Alrighty, so Bob Welch on the hill for the Los Angeles Dodgers. He comes in with a six and two record on the in the replay with one save, a, just a one point not two five earned run average, seventy two innings pitched, fifty one hits allowed, fourteen walks and forty seven strikeouts, and has uh, allowed just three home runs. On the actual season, he was seven and four with three saves and a two point zero three earned run average, so performing even better than his season. Average so far. Uh, the defense behind Welch is going to be Baker in left. North and North is back in center after getting game one of the doubleheader off. And uh, Rick Monday in right. Ron Say is the third baseman. Well, but Bill Russell, Davey Lopes, and Steve Garvey. Uh, Joe Ferguson is back behind the plate for game two of the series. I mean, of the doubleheader. Game three of the series out of four. So the lineup for the New York Mets is going to be Lenny Randall, the third baseman, will lead it off, followed by Bobby Valentine, the second baseman. Lee Mazzilli is in center, batting third. Ed Cranepole will bat cleanup and play left field. Willie Montan as the first baseman, will bat fifth. Bruce Beauclair is in right field, batting sixth. Ron Hodges is behind the plate for Game 2, batting 7th. Doug Flynn, the shortstop, will hit 8th. And Nino Espinosa on the hill, bats ninth. So Say and Garvey in on the grass for Randall. Steps up to the plate with a 2.11 average when 21 runs batted in. So Welch looks in for the sign from Ferguson. Now as his head kicks and delivers. It's going to be off the 2 column and Randall gets one in the wheelhouse. And he misses it for strike three. Swings right over it. So one down now for Bobby Valentine. Comes in hitting 271 with a homer and 13 runs bat in. This is the line to pin the pitch. Off the sixth call. And that is going to be a roll to third. 
Snares it quickly, throws the first, and gets him by a step. So two down now for Lee Mazzilli. Hitting 240 with 11 homers and 46 runs batted in. And Mazzilli gets one in the wheelhouse. And this one is going, going, and gone. So Mazzilli puts the Mets on top with the sole home run off Bob Welch. And the Mets lead at 1-0. So next up will be Ed Cranepool. Did not have a good season in 1978. Hit only 210 in the replay so far. He's Hitting just 164 and 67 at bats with a homer and six runs batted in. Getting a start in game two of the doubleheader. So here's the lineup and the pitch off the five column. That's going to be grounded back to Welch. She's average range. He will get to it. And make the play over to first to end the inning. So after one half, it's. New York won, and the Dodgers coming up. You know, Espinosa on the hill. Comes in with a record of just 5-11 and 11 on the season. 11-15 and 15 on the actual season. 4.73 earned run average, very close to his, his ERA for the season. 169 innings pitched, 102, 202 hits allowed. 70 walks and only 59 strikeouts. And it surrendered 22 home runs. So the defense behind Espinosa is going to be Crane Pool and left. Mazzilli in center and both clear and right. Definitely not much range in left and right. Mazzilli with above average range in center. Uh, Crane Pool with a very weak arm in left. Broke clear with the best arm average in and right. And Mazzilli with a below average arm in center. So, the lineup for the Los Angeles Dodgers in Game 2 of the doubleheader is as follows. Davey Lopes will lead it off and play second. Bill North, the center fielder, hits second. Steve Carvey bats third and will play first. Ron Say, the third baseman, bats cleanup. Dusty Baker in left field will bat fifth. The right fielder, Rick Monday, bats sixth. Joe Ferguson behind the plate will hit seventh. Followed by Bill Russell, the shortstop. And rounding out the order is Bob Welch, the pitcher. So Lopes comes in with a 279 average with eight homers and 58 runs batted in. Only about half the number of home runs that he actually hit on the actual season. So his power his numbers have been down. His RBI totals um, a little slightly up as he does have 58, which is his total for the season. And his average is right on. So Randall and Montanez in on the grass. Espinosa looks in for the sign from Hodges. Here's the wind defender pitch. It's going to be off the five call. And that will be a ground ball back to Espinosa. Espinosa above average range. We'll get to it. And make the throw over to Montanez for out number one. So it'll be a build north. Center fielder comes in hitting 229 with 23 runs batted in. Over double the amount of RBIs on this season than he had on the actual season. Gets one hit here. And lines it to Montanez who makes the catch for out number two. Next up, Steve Garvey. Garvey hitting 326 on the season with 14 homers and 88 runs batted in. It's off the four column. That will be a ground ball to his counterpart at first. And he will get to it. So both first baseman excellent range. And he will take it on a hop and flip it to Espinosa to end the inning. So the Dodgers will go in order in the first. And after one full, it's 1 0 New York. So Montanez to lead it off. We Montanez, Beauclair, and Hodges if anybody gets on Flynn for the. Mets here in the second. Montanez hitting 271 with 12 homers and 71 runs. Ben, it's off the sixth column. That's a ground ball to Lopes at second. Lopes with excellent range. 
We'll get to it. And he makes a great rare play here. Let's see what it is. Nothing that exciting there on that one. So one down now for Bruce Beauclair. Comes in hitting 258 with a homer and 14 runs bat in. Gets his pitch here. And lines a sharp single past Garvey. So Beauclair on first with one down. Garvey will hold them on. We have the catcher Ron Hodges. Ron Hodges hitting just 215 with three runs batted in. Grounds this one to Garvey. Flip. Flips the Russell for one. Back to first and they turn two. So a 3 6 3 double play. That will empty the bases and end the inning. So after one and a half remains, the Mets won and the Dodgers nothing. Say Baker and Monday up against Espinosa here in the second. Say comes in hitting 295, 23 homers equaling his total for the season and 93 runs batted. As we've been saying all along, that RBI total is obviously wrong. They obviously copied the uh, home run total into the RBI total. He did have 84 runs batted in the actual season. Looks like he might be able to add to that total here if he can get a hold on here. Gets the pitch in the wheelhouse. And hits this one deep to left center field. That one's going to get down. Go all the way to the wall. And Say will be on with a leadoff double. So the tying run in scoring position for Dusty Baker. Comes in hitting 251 with five homers, 58 runs batted in. Off the one column, and that will be a strike three swing. So Baker is down on strikes for the first out of the second. That'll be a brick Monday, 258 on, on the season with 14 homers, 45 runs batted in. It's going to be off the five column. And that will be a range check on Bobby Valentine at first. Hey, Miss Mags. Valentine will get to it. Miss Mags is letting me know the trivia question for the ball for the uh, seventh inning stretch time. Thank you, Miss Mags. <laughs> All right, so say we'll move to third now with two down, though. So Ferguson with a chance to tie the game with a base hit. 252 hitter on the season with 11 homers, 55 runs batted in. Gets one off the four column and just misses it, and that's a fly ball to center. Mazzilli. Back quickly up with the glove and makes the catch. So it remains 1 0 New York as we head to the third. Doug Flynn will lead it off. Doug Flynn comes in hitting just 210 on the season with 28 runs batted in. Off the five column. And that's a round ball at the first, a range check for Garvey. He should get to this one. He does. And it's nice. Mags laying down right in front of Brody there. So one down in the New York third. <laughs> what are you guys doing? <laughs> Mags is trying to get the co-host seat there. Looks like she's done a good job at that. Looks like we may have to set up our secondary co-host seat again. Brody's getting back in now. So Espinosa up now. Espinosa, not a bad hitting pitcher, hitting 209 with four runs batted in. Had does have did have three doubles on the season. It is the line to pin the pitch to Espinosa. And that will be a strike swing, strikeout swing. So Welch gets his second K of the day. It's two down in the Mets third. Lenny Randall up now. He struck out his first at bat. Grounds this one to Lopes. Up with it over to Garvey. And that'll do it for the Mets in the third. So as we head to the bottom of the third, the Mets lead it by one. The raid hitter Bill Russell will lead it off. Russell comes in hitting 337 on the season. So he's had a much better 
average about 50 points higher than his actual season average. No home runs yet, but with 61 RBIs, breaking his RBI total by 15. So, it's off the sixth column of Espinosa. And that's going to be a fly ball to right. Well, Claire is there, under it, and makes the grab. So one down in the bottom of the third brings up the pitcher, Welch. Welch is not a bad hitting pitcher either. He hit 172 with an RBI. 20 in 29 at bats with one double. Off the five column, and that, well, he'll take a called third strike on that one. For out number two. So two down, and the base is empty. Brings up Lopes, who grounded out in his first at bat. This time he'll get a single up the middle. So I think we're going to have uh, Lopes try to steal here with two down, try to get in scoring position. As Espinosa is below average, slightly below average at holding runners on, and Hodge is below average at full average arm. So we're going to see if we can get the. Uh, let me just make sure we get everything correct here. Yeah. New York managed by the computer. See if we can get a jump here. And it's still a 60% chance we're going to try it. And he'll be in there easily. And it throws wide of the bag. And Lopes is in there with number 36 of the season. So Lopes in scoring position now. So North can tie the game with a base hit. North lined out in his first at bat. And he'll miss this one and strike out to end the inning. So once again, the Dodgers cannot get the run home from in scoring position. And after three full trail, one nothing. So Bobby Valentine will lead it off against Welch here in the fourth. Grounded out in his first at bat. Grounds this one to Lopes at second. Throws the first and gets him. Lee Mazzilli up now. Lee Mazzilli put the Mets on the board with a solo home run. His 12th of the season. And this time we'll ground one to Garvey at first. And he races Mazzilli to the bag. And he'll get there and beat him to the bag. So for out number two. So it'll be a crane pull with two outs and the base is empty. Crane pull grounded out in his first at back. Gets one to hit here though. But misses it by a mile. And the Mets go quietly in the fourth. So home half of the fourth. We'll bring up Garvey, Say, and Baker, the heart of the order. Against Espinosa. Garvey grounded out in his first at bat. And Garvey's going to get a hold on here. This one could go, and it will. So Gar Steve Garvey ties the game with his 15th home run of the season. And it's 1-1 in the fourth. Much to the delight of the Dodger faithful. Dodger Blue. So it'll be a run say. Let's see if they can go back to back here. Two column is his home run column here. Espinosa's home runs are off of the six column. So either the two column or the six column. And no, it will not happen here as he gets off the one column, and that will be a strikeout. So one down now in the fourth for Dusty Baker. Baker struck out his first time up. And he'll strike out looking this time. So back to back K's for Espinosa after the home run. So let's look at some scores here. These are some scores from the first game. Uh, Atlanta, top of Pittsburgh, 3 to 1. Cincinnati, pounding St. Louis, 8 to 1. And Montreal and San Diego nodded at 3. San Francisco slipping by Philadelphia, 2 0. So Monday up to the plate now with two down. Grounded on his first at bat. We'll fly out to Beauclair to end the inning. But Steve Garvey puts the Dodgers on the board and ties the game at one as we head to the fifth. So Montanez, who homered in yesterday in the game one of the doubleheader, comes to the plate now. And that will be a line out to Lopes for out number one. So Beauclair singled in his first at bat. We'll hit a grounder to Garvey. Gets to it. And 
trots in the bag for out number two. Submarine Bron Hodges ground into a double play his first time up. I believe a 3-6-3 double play started by Garvey. And that one is going to fall in there for a base hit. A sharp single. So Hodges not a threat to steal. Doug Flint up now, grounded out in his first at bat. Range check on Ferguson. It's a pop up in foul territory. And Ferguson will make the catch to end the inning. So we'll head to the fifth, bottom of the fifth here. With the game tied at one. Joe Ferguson lead it off, flew out in his first at bat. Grounds this one to short. And Flynn will throw him out for the first start of the inning. Phil Russell up now. Flew out in his first at bat. Flies out again, this time to Mazzilli for out number two. So that'll be a Bob Welch. Welch struck out in his first at bat. This will be a range check on Valentine. Valentine below average range. But does get to this one. And makes the play. And the Dodgers will go in order in the fifth. So the top of the sixth. Espinosa will lead it off for the Mets. Also struck out. His first at bat. And he'll strike out again. He swings right over it. So one down now for the top of the order, Randall. He's 0 for 2 on the day. Gets a pitch to it here. But grounds it to Garvey. Take it to the bag himself for out number 2. So two outs of the bases empty. Brings up Bobby Valentine, who's grounded out twice today so far. And this time we'll draw the two out walk on that check swing. So Mazzilli one for two with a homer. Garvey holding on Valentine. And that's going to be a base hit just past the dive of Lopes. North gets it back in quickly. As Valentine will hold that second, so runners on first and second with two down. For Ed Cranepool, who's over two on the day. Gets a pitch to it here. This could put the Mets back on top. And Cranepool is going to get a hold of one. That's going to go into the corner. And Monday jumps, and he's got it. So Monday definitely saved extra bases on that one. And the score remains tied at one as we head to the bottom of the sixth. So the Dodgers will have the top of the order, Lopes, North, and Garvey up against Espinosa. Espinosa up to 68 pitches through five innings. Lopes will get a hold of one here. Crane pull on the run. Makes the catch for out number one. Bill North up now. Looking for his first hit of the day. He'll draw the walk. So one out walk. North is a threat to steal. So I want to see if North can get a jump here. One to 13. I think we're going to try for it. Oh, and he's going to be safe, and he overslides the bag. So North had a stolen base, but overslid the bag and gets tagged out by Flynn for the second out. So Steve Garvey, who homered at his first at bat, comes up now. Grounds this one to short. Flynn gets to it. And... Fires over to Montanez to end the inning. So it remains 1-1 as we head to the 7th. Welch, 80 pitches through 6 innings. Montanez to lead it off, 1 for 2. Finds this one to Lopes, who makes the catch for out number 1. Lopes showing great range on that play. So Beauclair, Beauclair now 1 for 2. Fly ball to left. Dusty Baker with average range. Oh, will not get to it. It'll drop in in front of him. 
And Beauclair will get his second hit of the day. A one-out single. Set up here for Ron Hodges. Hodges single in his last at bat, one for two. And that's going to be back to back one out singles. And Beauclair will get his go move his way to third there. So runners at the corners with one down. So the Mets threatening to go back on top. Infield playing in. Flynn up now. He's over two on the day. Drops the bunt down. And they're going to throw to first. And that will bring the run home. So a, so a squeeze play by Flynn brings the run home. So it's 2 1 New York. So Hodges moves into scoring position now for Espinosa. And. Do we pinch hit for Espinosa? I th well, we're not managing the Mets, so we cannot make that decision. <laughs> I assume they probably would. Yeah, I think they did in the actual game in this type of situation. But we'll see if they do. No, they leave Espinosa in. And Welch will hit a ball down the first baseline to Garvey. He'll get to it. Nice play by Garvey. Flips the Welch. And that'll do it. Put the Mets score one on the squeeze bunt. By Flynn. And lead it two to one. So it's time for the seventh inning trivia question. Seventh inning stretch time. At the age of 42, what Hall of Fame pitcher tied his career of 23 games won? I don't know. At 40, age of 42, what Hall of Fame pitcher tied his career of 23 games won? I don't know. I'm going to guess and say Ferguson Jenkins. I don't know. <laughs> so, all right, so lock in your answers there. Here we go. Warren Spahn for the 1963 Milwaukee Braves. So thank you, Mr. Brody, Miss Mags, and Purple Monkey, along with the newcomer, the blue, blue penguin there. With a nice question there. As we head to the bottom of the seventh, the Dodgers trailing by one. Espinosa is still out there. 81 pitches through seven innings. With Now with a one-run lead, he'll face... Say Baker and Monday say double back in the second one for two. And that'll be a range check on Hodges. Hodges below average range. It's a pop foul. And he'll get to it and make the catch. So we have Dusty Baker who struck out twice against Espinosa so far. This time ground grounds it to Valentine. Backhands it. Throw is short, but Montanez will scoop it up on a hop for out number two. So Rick Monday up now. He's 0 for 2 on the day. And that's going to be a fly ball to center. Mazzilli there. And makes the catch. So attendance has been announced at 55,791 in the replay here. The actual attendance was... 59, no, 49,818, so even a better crowd than in the actual season. So the Mets come up in the top of the eighth, up by a run. Oops. So Welch. Looks like Charlie Huff is ready and to go in the bullpen if needed. And let's see here. I think we might bring him in. So 
Lance Rotson also pitched in the game. I think we're going to bring in switch hitter, righty, switch hitter. Then a bunch of lefties. I think we're going to hold off on Rotson right now. We're going to bring in Charlie Huff. So Welch's day is done. He'll, get, he'll leave with a chance to lose but cannot win it. So Charlie Huff comes in. Pitched an inning in the actual game, giving up two runs and taking the loss in the actual game. So Huff comes in with a record of, he's been excellent in the replay, 12-3 and three record with eight saves. Just a 1.53 earner on average, having his ERA for the actual season, 88 innings pitched, just 56 hits allowed, 40 walks and 49 strikeouts, and has only allowed one home run on the season. So Randall will lead it off. Randall 0 for 3 on the day. Grounds this one to Russell. Russell, not the swiftest of fielders, does get to it. And is able to make the play over to Garvey for out number one. So one gone in the top of the eighth for Bobby Valentine. Valentine 0 for 2 with a walk on the day. Draws the one out walk. For Lee Mazzilli up now. Now we'll leave him in. A bunch of lefties coming up, but we're going to leave Huff in there. The sword decides to stick with Huff. Which could have been a mistake here. <laughs> and Huff will take him deep. And gone. So it was off of his card. So we might have wanted to bring in the lefty there. As Mazzilli hits his second home run of the day. And it's now a 4-1 Mets lead. And that is going to be it, as Lasorda has seen enough. So just like in the actual game, Huff lets up two runs. And we were just bragging about it. Only let up one home run on the season. Lets up his second year. To, to increase the Met lead. So Rotson's going to come in. Pitching the first game of the doubleheader. Rotson also having an excellent season out of the pen. 7-1 and one record with two saves. Just a 1.33 earned run average. 54 innings pitched, 38 hits allowed, 17 walks, 21 strikeouts, and has not surrendered a home run. Probably didn't want to say that. <laughs> For Ed Cranepool, though. And that is going to be... Oh, and he's going to find a hit-by-pitch on there. The only thing good in that column, and Cranepool takes one for the team there. So Willie Munton is up now, 0 for 3 on the day. Dodgers playing back for 2. Lines this one to Lopes for out number two. That'll be a Bruce Beauclair. He's got a pair of hits today, two for three. Grounds this one to Russell at third. Now the range check. He does get to it. And makes another good play. Long throw to Garvey, but gets him for out number three. But the Mets increase their lead. On the two-run blast by Mazzilli, his second home run of the day. And lead it 4-1. to one. So to Joe Ferguson to lead it off for the Dodgers. He's 0-2 for 2 on the day. Espinosa back out there. For inning number 8. And that one's going to be into the gap. That one's going to go to the wall. And Ferguson will reach second on a one-out double. I mean, on a leadoff double, sorry. So it'll bring up Bill Russell. Russell 0 for 2 on the day. Pops this one up to short. Tim Foley now in that shortstop. Much better defensive second base uh, shortstop than Flynn. Much better range anyway. And we're going to pinch hit for Rotson. And let's see, who are we going to bring in? The Dodgers used Vic DeVillo and Lee Lacey as a pitch, pinch hitters. I kind of like the Lee Lacey. Yeah, we're going to bring in Lee Lacey to pinch hit. So 
So Ole Lace is going to come in to pinch hit, representing the tying run. He has some pop in his bat. He's hitting 313 in the replay with 11 homers, 41 runs batted in. As Hodges goes out to talk to Espinosa, goes back behind the plate. Espinosa looks in for the sign, nods his head, looks at the runner, kicks and delivers. And that is going to be hit to Foley. And he'll make the catch as Ferguson dives back to the bag for out number two. So Lopes up now. He's one for three on the day. And that is going to be a fly ball to left. Crane pull is there, though, to make the catch. So Dodgers cannot get any runs across the plate here. And who are we going to bring in here? It remains four to one. Looks like Rick Roden is really the only possibility other than the closer. We don't want to bring him in again. And another non save situation. So Rick Roden will come in the pitch. Roden also having an excellent season out of the pen, 13 and 4. With a 2.46 earned run average, 154 innings pitched, 143 hits allowed, 50 walks and 76 strikeouts, and has surrendered nine home runs. So Mets here at the top of the ninth, leading by three. Hodges is two for three with a pair of hits, a pair of singles. Lines this one to Garvey for out number one. So the Dodgers in danger of losing their first game of September. So Flynn up now. Flynn over two with a great sacrifice bunt. Or actually a squeeze bunt. Getting an RBI. Which started which got the go ahead run across in the seventh. And it'll be a ground ball to second. Ropes gets to it. And is able to make the play for out number two. So let's see if they pinch hit for Espinosa here. And they will. So Joe Youngblood will come in to pinch hit. 265 hitter. Six homers, 26 runs batted in. And he'll deliver with a base hit off the bench. So Lenny Randall up now. He's 0 for 4 on the day. And he'll get his first hit. So the Mets have a little two-art rally going on now. As Tim Poley gets his first plate appearance of the day. 241 hit with two homers, 19 runs batted in. That's looking to increase the lead here. And they'll get a base hit, the only hit on that column. I think we have to throw for the lead runner. And we'll get him. So the left fielder, Baker, makes a great throw and nails Youngblood trying to score. So it remains a three-run game. So the Mets are going to bring on Skip Lockwood. Their closer. Seven, let's see here. Five and six on the season with 11 saves. 4.48 earned run average, 84 Innings pitched, 79 hits allowed, 31 walks, 54 strikeouts, and a surrendered 11 homers. So, Dodgers down by three, need base runners. Bill North will lead it off. North over two with a walk. So, Randall and Montanez in on the grass. Here's the pitch by Lockwood. And that's going to be a range check on Flynn. Flynn moved over to, oh, Flynn moved over to second place of Valentine. He wasn't removed. So Flynn, a much better second baseman than he is a shortstop. We'll get to this one as I guess they took out Lopes. So I'm not sure why they took out Lopes. But they did. Hopefully he's not injured. So Steve Garvey up now. Garvey one for three with a homer. Homer back in the fourth. Put the Dodgers on the board. The only run of their game so far. That'll be a range check on Randall at third. 
And that is going to get past him for a base hit. So Garvey gets on for the second time today. That'll be a bronze double back in the first, one for three. And say he's going to get a hit, so back to back hits, and no, we're going to hold him. Down by three. So Garvey will hold up at second, puts the brakes on. So first and second with the one down there to bring up the tying run, Dusty Baker. Baker just five home runs on the season, although he did hit 11. So he's due. So Lockwood goes out to have a chat. Hodges hooks up, goes out to have a chat with Lockwood, goes back behind the plate. Looks in for the sign, looks at the runners, kicks and delivers. And that's going to be a base hit. So three, that'll bring home... No, it won't. The Garvey will be held at third. So that's going to load the bases with one down for Rick Monday. So the winning run now up to the plate now. As the Dodgers have something going here. So Monday, 0 for 3 on the day. Does have 14 homers on the season. 19 for the actual season. So Lockwood looks in for the sign. Shakes him off. Finds one he likes. Nods his head. Looks at the runners, kicks and delivers. And it's going to be bounced away from Hodges. And it'll be a pass ball, and that'll bring home Garvey. So it'll make it a 4-2 game. So now a single can tie the game. So that changes the complexion of the game by a ton, as now they only need a single to tie the game. Instead of an extra base hit. Here's a windup in the pitch. And they'll get the single to right. Oh my goodness, do we send him? <laughs> Who do we got coming up next? Joe Ferguson. Oh boy. We get 65% chance. I think we got to try it here. I think we got to try it. We're going to try it here. Well, who would see? Who, who did they hit it to? Single to right field. Beauclair has only got an average arm. I wish I would have hit to left. So Beauclair has got an average arm. We'll get the right field adjustment there. I think we got to try it. We're going to try it here. So we're going to send him tying run. So Baker rounds third. He's coming home. We're going to hold the trailing runner. Oh, and he's out. Ah. <laughs> Ah, uh, so a great throw by Beauclair. Guns him down trying to score. Mm. So Dodgers not dead yet, though. Joe Ferguson up to the plate now. He doubled his last time up. One for three. And that's a ground ball to Foley. Throws to first and gets him. That probably would have been a double play ball there anyway. <laughs> so sometimes you just got to try it. I think the Dodgers would have gone for it anyway at home. Anyway, the Dodgers fall just short in the ninth here after an exciting ninth inning. And Nino Espinosa will get the win. He's 6-11 and 11 now. Eight innings pitched, four hits allowed, one run it was earned. One walk, five strikeouts. And it's earned one home run. Skip Lockwood just barely gets by and gets a save, his 12th of the season. One inning pitched, four hits allowed, two runs, both of them earned. Uh, Bob Welch takes the loss, six and three, seven innings pitched. Six hits allowed, two runs, both of them earned. One walk and four strikeouts and has surrendered a home run. Charlie Huff, a third of an inning, one hit, two runs, both of them earned, one walk, and a home. It was a two-run homer. Lance Rotson. I don't know. I think I, I don't think Bob Welch should have got the loss there. I think it should have been Charlie Huff, but oh well. Lance Rotson, two-thirds of an inning. He was ineffective. 
well, effective, I guess, for two-thirds. Rick Roden pitches a scoreless ninth. Allow, does allow three hits, though. Gets, but gets out of it. So, so Bob Welsh, a tough luck loser there. So, for the Mets, Lenny Randall, 1 for 5. Bobby Valentin, 0 for 2 with a run scored. Tim Foley, defensive replacement, 1 for 1. Lee Mazzilli, player of the game. Two home runs, 3 for 4 with two runs scored, three runs batted in. Ed Cranepole, 0 for 3. Willie Montanez, 0 for 4. Bruce Beauclair, 2 for 4 with a run scored and... A great play gunning down Dusty Baker trying to score. So you could argue for him being having been the player of the game. But I think we're still going to give it to Lee Mazzilli. The two home runs. Ron Hodges 2 for 4. Doug Flynn 0 for 3 with their RBI. You know Espinosa 0 for 3. Joe Youngblood 1 for 1. He's a pinch hitter. And he was thrown out at the plate actually. Two by a great play by um, I don't know who did it actually. Is it Brooklyn? No, not Brooklyn. Uh, do, 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 do. Was it Monday? It might have been Bill North. I think it might have been Bill North. But anyway, um, so that's it for the Mets there. The Dodgers Davey Lopes was one for four. Bill North was 0 for 3. Steve Garvey was 2 for 4 with a two run homer with two runs. I mean, a solo home run, two runs scored. Ron Say, 2 for 4 with a run scored. Dusty Baker, 1 for 4. Rick Monday, 1 for 4 with an RBI. Joe Ferguson, 1 for 4. Bill Russell, 0 for 3. Bob Welch, 0 for 2. Charlie Huff and Lance Rotson did not get at bats. Lee Lacey is a pinch hitter, 0 for 1. So the Dodgers fall to the Mets in game 2 of the doubleheader by a score of 4 to 3. We'll be back. We'll be back with game 4, the fourth and final game of the series where the Dodgers will try to win the series. Mets will try to gain a split in the series. So the Dodgers are 2 and 1 so far in the month of September. So we'll be back with game 4 of the series next. So take care and God bless and we'll see you in the next Dodger video. Bye bye now. Say bye Mr. Brody. Say bye to all your fans there. And again I just want Mr. Brody just wanted to do a shout out and wish me a happy birthday. My 51st birthday today. We had a good day. We got ourselves some uh, some pizza and we played our new board game which we're developing. A math board game. So we had some fun. So we will see you in the next video. So say bye to all your fans, Mr. Brody. All right. Bye-bye.